the search engine google is showing this video doodle in some countries on july 26 2022 for celebrating the steel pan a percussion instrument made of metal created and influenced by timbagonians it is the only acoustic instrument invented in the 20th century but has origins dating back to the 1700s it was a stable during carnival and cambole the annual harvest festivals celebrated in trinidad and is still used in contemporary music on this day in 1951 the trinidad all steel pan percussion orchestra performed at the festival of britain introducing the steel pan and a new music genre to the world when enslaved africans were brought to trinidad by colonists in the 1700s they brought over their african heritage and traditions of rhythmic drumming with them When slavery was abolished between 1834 and 1838, Trinidadians joined in on carnival festivities with their drums. However, in 1877, government officials banned their drumming because they feared that the drumming would be used to send messages that would inspire rebellion. In protest of this ban, musicians started to pound tuned bamboo tubes on the ground as alternatives to mimic the sound of their drums. These ensembles were called Tambu Bambu Bands. Another band came in 1930 when rival Tambu Bambu Bands would cause disturbances during carnival and other street festivals. These bands then looked to a new alternative to carry their rhythm. Metal objects such as car parts, paint parts, dust pins, biscuit tins and thus the idea of the band was born. During Second World War, carnival was forbidden due to security reasons and musicians began experimenting with the unique instrument to improve the sound quality. Over time, dents were hammered into the surface of these objects which played different notes depending on the size, position and shape. In 1948, after the war ended, the musicians switched to using the 55 gallon oil drums discarded by the oil refineries. In addition to changing the shape of the drum surface, they found that changing the length of the drum allowed complete scales from bass to soprano. This formed the basis for the modern version of the pan. The steel pan grew and developed into a legitimate instrument through the likes of pioneers and innovators such as Winston Spry Simon, Ellie Manetti, Anthony Williams and Bertie Marshall. Many of their innovations and techniques are still used today. The steel pan is now the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago and is a source of great pride and true resilience for its citizens. Steel pans are now enjoyed in concert halls like uh, Royal Albert Hall, Carnegie Hall, the Canary Centre and more. Whether in the UK or Japan, Senegal or the States, the steel pan is an internationally recognized instrument that reminds listeners of its island audience.